This video is about how to write introduction up your research articles. Introduction play very very important role. As I mentioned before that your abstract should be a separate body. If somebody do not have time to read your all paper and he and she just read your abstract, they can get the full idea of your paper. The similar case is for introduction. If somebody read your introduction, just introduction, so they can easily understand that what you did in your research article and what you did in your paper. The whole story he or she can get by just reading your introduction. So let's go in real scenario that how I uh, write my uh, 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 introduction here. Okay, so let's go to introduction. If you remember my steps, so this is basically introduction is uh, you have to include uh, the background, the previous knowledge, mean the problem statement. If you are studying previous uh, study, previous knowledge, previous research, this means you are doing literature. And from there you get the research gap, the problems. Now, for solving that problem, you see some objectives and you want to get some desired results to fill that gap. Okay, so look introduction. Introduction, you have to briefly talk about uh, the, the specific field you are working. For example, I say, look, I'm using composite nanomaterial and put, is a photo unit in disensitized solar seal. Look, I again start from here. That composite nanostructure is a photo unit material in disensitized solar solar seal have been a successful route to enhance photovoltaic performance as they simultaneously provide essential parameters required for high efficiency such as improved light absorption, efficient charge transport, and light scattering. Since the seminal work of Oregon in this this, you see, now I just very lengthy sentence, <laughs> but very powerful sentence I explain that why composite nanostructure is important and why it is crucial and necessary to use as a photo unit material in disensitized solar cell. I give the advantages, okay? The previous work, you see, I am just referring here this guy because this is the Gretzel work and I have to refer because I am reading the background. You see here, and I just give the brief overview of the titania that this is the, this is the leading particles, uh, nanoparticle using in solar cell a diasensitized solar cell and then I give the efficiency that now the current efficiency of the solar cell is this much. I again refer you see here. Then I came to my specific topics here that uh, what are the problems in titania that uh, the efficiency is not skyrocketing, skyrocketing and uh, not uh, boosting faster as compared to other uh, solar cell technologies. Then I give the drawbacks you see because it has lower uh, uh, electron mobility. You see here, this terminology. And I also did a little mistake here. I did not abbreviate this, this symbol electron mobility. We have to abbreviate first here. They had lower electron mobility here, okay? So this is, this is you saw, you see electron mobility. Yes, sir, you just give here the comma electron mobility and diffusion coefficient. You see diffusion coefficient I explained here but the other I did not explain here. Uh, you can just write here electron mobility, put parenthesis here and just remove this parenthesis. And diffusion and aptitude particle further height and argument. You see this means that I am also again giving the drawbacks of titania. More work titania is unstable when exposed to ultraviolet light. You see these are the drawbacks. Somebody asked that why you are switching from this to there. You have to give the drawbacks. These are the problem exist in this solar cell technology. So I have to use alternative. You see here. Now I'm going alternative. I'm going there and therefore alternative metal oxide such as zinc oxide, niobium pentoxide, and tenoxide are implied as you, which efficiency this much. You see, I give the reference here. So this is why I'm using uh, uh, alternative. Then I, among these three, xenoxide, niobium, pentoxide, and tenoxide, I just came to tenoxide. I say that tenoxide has shows best photostable performance, and I give reference here. You see here, <laughs> uh, and the stability of tenoxide underwise is due to large band gap. Why it is stable? I give the reason, I give the logic, I give the proof 
that because it has a large band gap is compared to criteria. This is end production look. Now this is from the literature we took and from the literature we also give uh, the people reference that this guy used this and that uh, and they got efficiency. Uh, uh, you see we, we say that uh, the tenoxide is usually, I, we also give the drawback of tenoxide that it gives the lower efficiency because of this uh, lower put, uh, this is lower put voltage, open circuit voltage you see. Then we explain the strategy. Tenoxide, we say a better material from titania, but tenoxide is also some problem. Then, then we develop a strategy, a strategy to overcome an inherent disadvantage of tenoxide. You see, when we make the composite here, you see, and we give the example of many people that many people made composite here. In this whole paragraph, you will see these composite composite structures. You see here, and we explain that uh, when they use the composite, so what were their efficiencies? We all explain in this paragraph. The last paragraph of your introduction is about your work. Here, this was all about people work. You see here, all people work here. We explain that this guy make composite, blah, blah, blah. Here we say that we have fabricated a composite of tenoxide based DCC implying one dimensional SNO2 multiprocessional fiber, diameter this, 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 synthesized while spinning in which titanium nanoparticles were grown via a sample solution approach. You see, this is our work now. So in the introduction, you have to explain your work. This is my work now. And further I said that when we did this, when we made the composite, what happened? I achieved this much efficiency, you see, and this is the voltage, everything here. You see, this is all about, uh, and I just give the reasons that what happened whether the diluting increase or what were what were the reason to enhance this performance and i give this all uh, detail about that uh, there was a lift of, of, of uh, per millivolt of 2 to 30 millivolt this is why it enhanced the uh, open circuit voltage so this is all about the introduction introduction is just like a, a mini paper a mini article if somebody do not have time to read your all paper so here she can understand the whole scenario, the whole story of your paper, that what you did in your paper and how you got your results, the key key things, the main main things he can get by reading your introduction. So just at the first stage, give the brief overview of your topic, then just specific, come to specific topic that you are working in photo node or working electrode or any part and just tell that what was the previous people use how, what what was the material previous people used? I explained that and why you are not using that material and why you use, you use this material. You have to defend your case there that why I choose this material. What are the advantages and disadvantages? And whether you are using this material, whether people use it before or not. If people use it, what method they use and what were their uh, performance? And just till that we are using some different approach uh, to get better results. At the end of the introduction, you need to write your uh, results, your work, this small paragraph. This is the whole story of your uh, introduction. I hope it is now very, very clear. And if you have any problem writing an introduction, please do not hesitate to ask me. Thanks for watching.